Hey guys, I'm back with another pen review. Uh, today I want to review, a, not a fountain pen actually, but a rollerball. And that is the Pelican M405 Stressmon rollerball pen. Uh, I love my fountain pens. They are my favorites. They'll always be my favorites to write with because you just, you know, that's, that's a very unique experience. But I don't have any nice roller balls. I do have a nice ballpoint pen, which I have shown on the channel before. It is this. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black ballpoint pen. I really, really love this pen a lot. Um, and again, I do have a video on this if you're interested in seeing more about this pen in particular. But it's a ballpoint, and I don't have any nice roller balls. And I thought, you know, I, I should get a nice roller ball. And I feel like that would really round out my pen collection. So I uh, went in search of a nice rollerball pen. I did consider multiple brands, um, Sailor Rollerballs, I considered those. But I wanted something different from my ballpoint. And eventually I settled on Pelican. Um, I really like Pelican's squat design. They have like short, fat bodies. And I, I really like that look for their pens. And I do own a couple of Pelicans already, which I will compare to this one in uh, here in a minute. Uh, and, you know, I haven't, I, I really liked the design. So I just got this one. Uh, I bought it off Amazon. It was about $220, which is very expensive for a rollerball. Um, I did consider returning it when I got it because I was like, wow, this is, this is crazy. That's a lot of money for a rollerball. But when I actually or before I, it got to me, I was thinking that, I, you know, I just need to return that when it gets here. I don't need that. That's ridiculous. But when it got here and I opened it up, I was blown away by how beautiful it was and how well it wrote, uh, which, you know, that's a refill thing. But I am very, very excited to have this pen and I will not be returning it. I will be keeping it. And I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what it's all about with the Pelican Rollerball. So this is the 405 size. This is one of their smaller sizes, and it is the rollerball, and it is very beautiful. I love how pointy it looks. A lot of rollerballs don't look like super pointy, but I really like how sharp this pen looks. And it's very comfortable to hold. It weighs 22 grams with a refill inside of it, which is like just perfect for me. And it's it's got a good, um, grip section. It's a little tapered here at the end, so it's, it's very comfortable. Your fingers just sink right in uh, to that taper, and it's really comfy to hold. I like that it has a cap that I can post because I like the way Pelicans look posted. It's just, it's a really beautiful pen. And I was um, interested when I got it to see the, uh, the Bendy, one day I will remember how to pronounce this, the Bende, Bendy Bende, uh, these, these uh, bars here of color, the gray. This pen, I thought it looked different when I opened up the box. I was like, that looks really different from my fountain pen because I have a 605 stress them on with a, in a fountain pen. So I got out my 605, which I have right here, and I compared them. And I don't know, it might be a little harder to tell on the video you can kind of tell it. The rollerball has a lot more chatoyance, is that the word, than the, the fountain pen. It, they, the, the, the bars on the rollerball are like brighter and shinier and they just seem to have more depth. I don't know if it's taken into account or not taken into account, but just, um, I don't know if it's because this pen is not see-through. Uh, if you hold it up to the light, the it's, you know, black and silver. And because it's a rollerball, you don't need to see inside to, like, see the ink level or anything. So that, you know, that's why it's not see-through, like, this pen, which you can't tell because um, there's no light source underneath it. But I'm wondering if that's part of why it looks like that. But then again, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think so because it's the bars themselves that are like really bright and shiny. But I actually prefer the look of this one over my uh, fountain pen because it's just, it's, it's got this chatoyance to it. It's, it's really, really beautiful. It's mesmerizing to look at. Sometimes I'll just roll it between my fingers because it's so pretty to look at. 
you can kind of see it there. See how it, look at that. And then let me do that with the fountain pen. Not as exciting. <laughs> it does not look as exciting as this one. Uh, but anyway, let's look at the sizes. Here is my 205 Amethyst, which is the same size as the 405 series. There's a halfway out of shot. So there's a size comparison. Uh, the 405, the 205, and the 605. The 605 is still comfortable for me to hold, but the 405 is as well. This pen's actually a little heavier, I feel, than this one. Yeah, this one feels a little heavier. I think this one weighs about 22 grams too. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're not here to talk about those. We're here to talk about the Rollerball. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this pen. I will not be returning it. I'm very happy with it. I, I did order some replacement refills for it. I have the replacement refill in here right now. It came with a Pelican refill. I'll show you guys how it, how all that works. So the back unscrews, I believe they are called blind caps. And it opens up like that. And then your refill just slides out. So this is an Oto ceramic rollerball refill. And this is the 0.4. I thought I had the 0.5 in here. Oh well. Anyway, I ordered a couple of different sizes of this. The Pelican rollerball came with a 0.7, which is which was fairly thick. But I want to do a writing sample just to show you guys like how it looks when it's writing. And I will be using Cosmo Air Light paper. We're gonna not zoom out, we're gonna zoom in. This is a 0.4 that doesn't look like anything. 0.4 boot to refill. So it's it's really nice to write with. I really like this refill. The Pelican refill was great also, but that's the smallest size they offer. And it was a little too thick for me, so I didn't I wasn't too much into that. But it feels really good on Cosmo Air Light paper. I don't even think I've tried this on Tomoe, but I'm sure this would feel great on most papers. It's a rollerball. Rollerballs generally feel pretty good, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a rollerball. It's nice. I really like it. I'm going to keep it and I will have two really nice non fountain pen pens in my collection and very happy with both of these. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.